what's up guys welcome back to android app development tutorial so let's continue our discussion of recycler view and card view in android now guys in this video i'm going to show you the three kinds of layout linear layout manager as we already saw now this is actually the vertical orientation now this linear layout manager by default is having the vertical orientation now so in this video we will check out how we can implement the horizontal orientation of linear layout manager what I mean to say is these rows will be aligned horizontally fine now next we will also check out staggered grid layout manager this is the look that we want so we will implement this also and also we will implement grid layout manager which will appear somewhat like this so let me show you the codes in Android Studio. Now inside the Android Studio, inside the menu, we have menu underscore main XML. So let's open it. Now inside the menu main dot XML, I have written few codes. Now these are the menu items that will be inflated in our action bar. So what we have here is horizontal linear layout manager. And this is what vertical linear layout manager. This is grid view manager staggered view horizontal and also staggered view vertical fine now this is the priority level and all are having the same priority and this is our custom schema app which I have defined where here this is our custom schema which shows show as action as never so all these menu items will be present where inside the overflow menu now guys I highly recommend you to go back to my toolbar tutorial and check out what is a menu and how to implement it in our application fine so till now nothing great I have done clear now inside the main activity dot Java I have inflated this menu inside the on create options menu I have inflated my menu main dot XML clear now guys all these stuffs I have discussed in my toolbar tutorial in detail so please check out my those videos so inside the on options item selected now if you select if we are going to select this item then what is going to happen I have defined the functionality inside on options item selected which is present where inside the main activity dot Java so here we have menu item as item and here int ID is containing what which of the following items are clicked so the ID of that menu item is stored inside the int ID fine so nothing new now if horizontal linear layout manager is selected then do this then vertical linear layout manager is selected then do this and so on now let me guys explain you the codes let me first jump on to my on create method by default I have set this method layout manager as recycler view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager and we are passing the context so by default this linear layout manager is what is actually having vertical orientation so let me write the comment line so by default it is having the vertical orientation now inside the on options item selected what I have done the first menu item is what horizontal linear view so I have defined some codes here I want I want the linear layout manager to be horizontal I want the items to be aligned in a horizontal manner so I have written the codes as linear layout manager linear layout manager horizontal equal to new linear layout fine I have created the reference of linear layout manager like this so to this reference I am setting the orientation set orientation and we are passing the parameter as linear layout manager dot horizontal so nothing great and soon after this I am setting this layout manager to this recycler view recycler view dot set layout manager m linear layout manager horizontal clear so when this line is executed we will see a horizontal view of recycler view now similar is the case of linear layout vertical as I told you by default it is always vertical but still 
with the help of codes also I am showing you. Now similarly I am creating the reference here of linear layout manager and here I am setting the orientation as linear layout manager vertical. Fine. Now soon after this recycler view dot set layout manager as linear layout manager vertical. So this will give us a default appearance that is aligning the recycler view items one below the other in the vertical way. Fine. Now guys here comes our grid view. To give the appearance of grid like structure we need to have our layout manager as grid layout manager. Now here is the reference grid layout manager space reference name equal to new grid layout manager. Now guys this grid layout manager takes two parameters. Now first is the context which is main activity dot this and second is the span count. Now this span count guys is actually what let me show you. This 2 is actually the span count of these rows. Now I want two rows. I want two columns right here. So this is the first column and this is the second column. Now if I make it 3 then there will be 3 columns. And now guys you can see inside the grid all the cards are having the uniform width and height irrespective of the image size. Fine. This is our grid layout. Clear? So in the grid layout manager we have just two parameters context and number of columns we want. Pretty simple. Now let's come to our bottom two menu item. The bottom two menu item the first one is the staggered view horizontal. If you remember from the slides guys I already showed you how the staggered view looks like. It is almost similar to grid view but each card each item inside the staggered view takes a different space which actually depends on the image size or you can say the element present inside the cards. So here we have staggered grid layout manager and here is a reference equal to new staggered grid layout manager. So here it requires two parameters the first is the span count which is actually similar to this span count. Fine. Now inside the staggered grid layout manager we actually want two columns or you can say two rows as it is horizontal. Now second is the orientation. So we are setting the orientation as staggered grid layout manager dot horizontal. Fine. Now after this I have written the comment line. The first one is the span count and the second one is the orientation. Clear. Now our next step to assign the staggered horizontal layout manager reference to this recycler view. So this is going to give a staggered appearance to our recycler view. Now our last item is staggered view horizontal. Similarly this is our staggered grid layout manager with a orientation of vertical and a span count of 2. So here also we want a 2 column. Clear? Now at the end we are setting the recycler view dot set layout manager staggered vertical layout manager. So in this way guys our codes are complete. The only thing is left is to apply animation. Now animation I will apply in the next video. Now till now let us run our application and let's check the output. And here is our output. Now guys by default now by default when you run the application your application will look like this. This is a linear layout vertical orientation. So let us do one thing guys. Let us go to our menu and let us start from the bottom staggered view vertical. Let's check it out. Awesome. Here we go. We have a two column span count of two and you can see this image was little longer. So it is actually taking a longer space. Or you can say the height is greater. Now this image is taking the less space because the height is less. So automatically the below items are arranging itself accordingly. You can see the staggered view of our grid layout manager with a span count of 2 and orientation vertical. Now let us do one thing guys. Let us move on to our menu and change the orientation to staggered view horizontal. So let's check it out. Yeah, here we go. What we have a staggered view but this time a horizontal manner. Pretty awesome. Clear? 
Now let's do one thing guys again change it to grid view as we already saw it is having the uniform width and height irrespective of the image size. Each element is totally uniformed and aligned perfectly. Now let's come to our what this vertical view we have already seen which is by default set. Now let's see our linear view horizontal. So here we go we have the scroll bar in horizontal way. So each element is aligned horizontally and we are scrolling it horizontally like this. Pretty simple guys. So next time guys when you are making some application just do one thing replace this line of code with these two lines of codes. Fine like this if you want a grid layout manager then, inst then instead of this statement just replace just replace the code with these two lines of code sorry this one these two lines of codes pretty simple guys so nothing tough so in the same application itself I have showed you various kinds of layout managers and this code guys I am going to upload it for your reference so that whenever next time you sit and start making your application then just open this application and take the reference of the codes and make your own code successfully. So this is all for this video guys in the next video I am going to apply animation at this point of time it is crawling by default without any animation. So what I am going to do in the next video I will try to apply animation to our recycler view. So till then thanks for watching have a good day and please guys in case of any doubt please ask in the discussion forum. So meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to this channel and please post a comment below this video. Thank you.